Hi, welcome to EX Pulse Production Resource Capacity App, developed using Microsoft Dynamics EX 2012 R3 and Microsoft Power Apps. Using this app, users can take a look at all the resources as they are in their Microsoft Dynamics EX 2012 deployment that has been used either for production or project module. On the left-hand side of this app, you can see a list of all these resources. Uh, you can actually search these resources by using the resource number, or you can actually search it by using the name as well. So let's take a look at one of the resources we have and try to explore what do we have got on the right hand side of the app. So for the purpose of this demo, I will uh, probably take some example that has uh, data in my AX2012 deployment. So let's take a look at this particular resource. Uh, the resource number is 3015 and uh, it's a mixer machine that is used in production. On the right hand side of this uh, app, you can see uh, two uh, list. This particular list is actually the weekly resource utilization. So right now you can see week 9, week 10 and week 11 and so on. And this actually shows you the resource capacity in total, what has been reserved, and what is the remaining capacity for this particular week. Similarly, you can uh, go through all other weeks. And this all this data actually is coming from uh, Microsoft Dynamics DX directly uh, as part of the real-time integration. At the bottom over here, you can see a list of uh, all the production orders where this particular resource has been reserved and you can see for this example we have two production orders where this particular resource is reserved in AX2012. So using this quick view users can actually uh, find out uh, what is the capacity available, what has been reserved and which production orders it has been reserved. Now on this section, we have provided two charts. So this particular chart is actually telling you the resource reservation. And if you look at this x-axis or horizontal axis, you will see the date. Uh, so and on the y-axis, there is a, the reserve capacity. So for example, for this particular date, uh, which is I believe March 1st, uh, you have the reservation for this resource as uh, four hours, I believe. And you can also verify from this list here. So, uh, the second chart is uh, the weak idle capacity. And what is actually telling you is uh, what sort of capacity is available uh, for next four weeks. So let's say if we take a look at week nine, uh, we have this uh, capacity 20. Uh, available and uh, you can also verify it from here as you know a remainder capacity value then week 10 11 and 12 uh, that is the next three weeks you have the capacity 40 as the available capacity or remainder per capacity and you can also verify it from the list here you also have the provision to uh, set up the or select the plans just like uh, uh, you know when you select the the different plans from uh, uh, the in capacity load in query from, from Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, rich client. Similarly, you have this drop down and you can actually select different plans. So right now we are looking at the data for um, Dyn plan, but if I go ahead and select a different plan like static plan, uh, the app will actually refresh and uh, you know it will show the data accordingly. So uh, that is all. You can actually find this app on uh, uh, the partner showcase for uh, Microsoft Dynamics, Microsoft Power Apps uh, portal that is uh, officially available there. For any uh, details or further information or maybe a demo, you can always uh, contact us. Our email address is info at uh, Have a nice day and goodbye.